Today we are going to be adding a NEMA 2000 Garmin through hole temp sensor. This is pretty simple here. It's just a temp sensor like this. And this thing just hooks up to NEMA 2000. Got a cable here. And this thing right here is just the through hole sensor. So you put uh, that through the hole of the boat and then put the nut on there, hooks into the NEMA 2000, and then you program it to read from your displays. And we're gonna have to drill right there, a hole in the boat, and um, then we're gonna have to run the wire back to there, actually right here, so that's where all the rigging's coming through. And then that is gonna come all the way up to here, into the console where our backbone is located up there now obviously anybody that's seen any of our videos on NEMA 2000 that's not really what you want to see you can see how badly that's bent also all these zip ties are just ready to cut you up I don't know nobody's got flush cutters like this see that's nice that's flush cut that right there will slice you into pieces so there is a power isolator in here. I'm not sure what that is for since there are Verados on this. Um, and then also, oh, looking at it, look at this. Look at that fitting there. That thing's not even plugged in. So we're gonna go ahead and have to plug this in, screw that together. But I gotta figure out what this power isolator here is doing. And once I figure out what that power isolator is, I'll figure out where to put, here's the terminator right there. So I'll probably add the T fitting into here or I might get rid of this right here and add a four way. I'm not a hundred percent sure. My first thing I need to do is run a snake through that hole to get to the back. So that way we can pull our backbone drop cable back to the back where we're going to be putting uh, the temp sensor. So let me pull that and drill a hole in the hole so we can put this in. So do, do six, six and a half. Center. What? No, that's good. All right, got the hole drilled out down there. Double Aeron's gonna send up the temp sensor and we're gonna run a wire up to the console to get it all hooked up. tight. Okay. okay. So a lot of times if you don't have, you can't pull a string in a rigging tube, all that stuff coming out. 
So all we did was disconnect this wire, which was easy to get to. You pick something that's easy to get to. Ran a string, pulled our wire through, and then now we're just gonna have the string pull the wire that we disconnected back through the console. Donnie's gonna show you why we had to undo that. Well, actually, I don't know if you can see this, because I can't even see that rigging tube, but ain't nobody sending a snake down there. So, just took the wires off that little solenoid back there, tied up a string to pull it back, and tied up our cable, pulled it right through. It's friggin' perfect, man. Yeah. Just in case this thing doesn't snag on something, I'm just gonna wrap up these wires. Okay. So you're gonna have to take off a little more, but electrical tape when you get it, but I'd rather be safe than sorry. Okay, we got our temp sensor hooked up to our NEMA cable and that cable is ran all the way through the bilge. So all I gotta do is kind of zip tie this up nice and neat. You don't want anything here. I'm actually going to roll this up in the back because I don't want this connector inside the rigging tube just in case there's water or anything like that. I'd rather have this connector out open like, you know, not in the tube. So I'm going to wire all this up, get it all nice, clean, tight, tension relief, all that good stuff. And then we can just run this thing up to the console, hook it up to the backbone, and then we will configure it. Can you pull some of the um, NEMA cable? Keep going, keep going, keep going. All right there. All right there. Beautiful. Now we are to the point where I got to do something with this backbone because if we look at this thing, that is not what you want to see with that big bin there. So we're going to take that out. What's that? He's muy mal. That's muy mal. <laughs> so I'm going to actually probably just take this section off and leave this one here and I'll replace this section with a four-way i mean the bottom ones look all right those we can we can leave but this section that was added this has to get fixed so i'll leave this isolator put a four-way right here we'll get an extra one there i'll clean this thing up so it's not so tight i mean i don't even know why that thing is so tight but i'll figure that out and then we'll be able to hook up our temp sensor and uh, we'll go up there and calibrate it with donnie There's why it was bent so much. All right, so following the instructions, you want to hit Options, Settings, Communications, NEMA 2000 Setup. Go to your device list and look for the GTEMP 10 temp sensor. It tells you to hit Review and choose a temp source. Now, it already seems like everything's set up and it's reading the temperature right up there. 
at 79.4 degrees Fahrenheit and um, it doesn't exactly let me choose between two different kinds so it must auto set to that temp sensor it seems like everything's already set up here automatically and it seems to be good to go just got to put it in the water and test it out